Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, April the 8th, and I'm Pastor Bramick. And this is Deaconess Intern Elizabeth. And we're going to be doing um, the litany again today, but before that, we are going to sing um, a hymn that I'll let Elizabeth introduce you to. It's hymn 454, Sing My Tongue, The Glorious Battle. We're going to sing verses 1 and 2. Sing my tongue, the glorious battle. Sing the ending of the fray. Now above the cross, the trophy, sound the loud triumphant lay. Tell of Christ, the world's redeemer, as a victim won the So for today, Wednesday, we turn to page 288 in your hymnal, and we do uh, the litany. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, hear us. God the Father in heaven, have mercy. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy. Be gracious to us. Spare us, good Lord. Be gracious to us. Help us, good Lord. From all evil, from all error, from all evil, I'm sorry, from all sin, from all error, from all evil, from the crafts and assaults of the devil, from sudden and evil death, from pestilence and famine, from war and bloodshed, from sedition and from rebellion, from lightning and tempest, from all calamity by fire and water, and from everlasting death. Good Lord, deliver us. By the mystery of your holy incarnation, by your holy nativity, by your baptism, fasting, and temptation, by your agony and bloody sweat, by your cross and passion, by your precious death and burial, by your glorious resurrection and ascension, and by the coming of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Help us, good Lord. In all time of our tribulation, in all time of our prosperity, in the hour of death and in the day of judgment, help us, good Lord. We poor sinners implore you to hear us, O Lord, to rule and govern your holy Christian church, to preserve all pastors and ministers of your church, in the true knowledge and understanding of your wholesome word, and to sustain them in holy living, to put an end to all schisms and causes of offense, to bring into the way of truth all who have erred and are deceived, to beat down Satan under our feet, to send faithful laborers into your harvest, and to accompany your word with your grace and spirit. We implore you to hear us, good Lord. To raise those who fall, and to strengthen those who stand, and to comfort and to help the weak-hearted and the distressed. We implore you to hear us, good Lord. To give to all people concord and peace, to preserve our land from discord and strife, to give our country your protection in every time of need, to direct and defend our president and all in authority, to bless and protect our magistrates and all people, to watch over and help all who are in danger, necessity, and tribulation, to protect and guide all who travel, to grant all women with child and all mothers with infant children increasing happiness and in their blessings, to defend all orphans and widows and provide for them. To strengthen and keep all sick persons and young children. To free those in bondage and to have mercy on us all. We implore you to hear us, good Lord. To forgive our enemies, persecutors, and slanderers. And to turn their hearts to give and preserve for our use the kindly fruits of the earth and graciously to hear our prayers. We implore you to hear us, good Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God. We implore you to hear us. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Have mercy. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Have mercy. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Grant us your peace. O Christ. Hear us. O Lord. Have mercy. O Christ. Have mercy. O Lord. Have mercy. Amen. Okay, I just want to do a, a brief reading. This is the a gospel reading, or, or part of it, that's assigned for today, uh, this Wednesday in Holy Week. 
Um, I'm just going to read a few verses from Luke chapter 22. Now the Feast of Unleavened Bread drew near, which is called the Passover. And the chief priests and the scribes were seeking how to put him to death, for they feared the people. Then Satan entered into Judas, called Iscariot, who was of the number of the twelve. He went away, conferred with the chief priests and officers how he might betray him to them. And they were glad and agreed to give him money. So he consented and sought an opportunity to betray him to them in the absence of a crowd. So this is obviously the, the story of how Satan enters into Judas, and then Judas portrays, betrays uh, Jesus to the, the chief priests and tells them where he's going to be, that they might uh, apprehend him. And uh, we're going to hear the rest of that story tomorrow night on Monday, Thursday, because it's just after Jesus um, celebrates the Last Supper with his disciples that then he goes to the Mount of Olives, and that's where the... Uh, the the Pharisees and the scribes and a, a contingent of soldiers meet Jesus, identify him, and arrest him. So his arrest actually takes place tomorrow night, and then the trial happens over the course of Thursday night into the following morning when the cock crows three times, you know, to uh, emphasize the denial of Peter. So uh, that's where we are today as we prepare to enter uh, the next uh, several days, the important time of Holy Week when we celebrate the Last Supper and then we uh, follow Jesus to the cross and then to the empty tomb. So, uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and, and we'll close with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Okay, Elizabeth, do you have any announcements? Uh, we have youth night tonight. It's going to be at 6. We're going to try and do it a whole hour. Uh, the information will be in the newsletter that we send out. It'll be... Uh, there will be a meeting ID, and there will be a password. You'll need to put both of those in, and I look forward to seeing you all then. Okay, and we are going to go ahead and go through with a parking lot service on Easter morning, so that will be at 8.30. Uh, if you want to come up, it will be a spoken service, and so I will be speaking the liturgy uh, in the parking lot with the help of a loud system, and you can bring your hymnals and respond in your cars, uh, and then Elizabeth will, will help out with the... Um, leading of the singing of the hymns, which you'll also do in your cars. And then we will have communion. So what will end up happening is you can, uh, I will come to you and we will uh, distribute the host and the individual cups to you in your car. And uh, then we'll have uh, the end of the communion service and then we'll, we'll dismiss. So uh, if you would like to celebrate the Lord's Supper this Sunday morning at 8.30, that will be available to you. Otherwise, we will be doing our regular service at 10.30 a.m. Um, and all this is, is in accordance with, with state and local laws. I have verified, received written permission. So we are all good to go. So uh, the Lord bless the rest of your day. Um, watch for our email newsletter later today.